heading into the hot zone. These Chinese medics have been helping with the Ebola response in Sierra Leone since September. This area is out of bounds for people not in protective clothing. Inside are suspected and confirmed Ebola patients. It's not only gates which protect our staff and which separates our staff from patients. We have to follow all the steps with the clothes and how to undress safely. All the procedures have to be strictly obeyed and we have to make sure the gates are shut and we have to follow all the protocols to make sure our staff are safe. Before Ebola, this was a 100-bed fully functioning general hospital. But since the beginning of the outbreak, those operations have ceased and the local Sierra Leone staff here have been working with their Chinese colleagues solely on Ebola response. The hospital was built by the Chinese government and donated to Sierra Leone two years ago. But now within its storerooms are Ebola-specific PPE, masks and rubber gloves. There's also some sophisticated video equipment, which helps reduce the amount of time medics need to be in the high-risk zone. This system is built to use during infectious diseases like Ebola. Because Ebola virus is very virulent and transmitted very quickly by contact with patients' bodily fluids. So we've installed these cameras in the corridors and also in the wards to observe the doctors' and nurses' activities and see if they follow the protocols while treating the patients. And also we can see the patients' activities in the wards. The medics are all staff from the same military hospital in Beijing. No one's worked with Ebola before, but their background is in infectious diseases. We have a lot of experience with SARS in 2003 and also the avian flu in 2009 and 2010. So we have a lot of experience to handle with the outbreak of infectious diseases. So although this is the first time with Ebola and treating this type of patients, our experience can help a lot. This isn't an Ebola treatment unit, it's a holding center. Sick patients are brought in and tested for the virus. Confirmed cases are then transferred. The primary purpose of the holding center is to break the chain of transmission of Ebola. We have people who have Ebola, we have people who are suspected Ebola cases, we are in the community. They need to be identified and to move them away from the community and bring them to a hospital where we can keep them and check their status. This hospital is in the middle of an Ebola hotspot. Medics say around 30 of its 40 beds are always full and that they need continued supplies of medical equipment to help treat the sick. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Freetown.